I'm currently logged into my OKX account and we will talk about the two ways to reset your authenticator. The first one is so easy. Say that you are currently logged in and for some reason you want to change your 2FA, you can go ahead and go to your security under profile. And then from here, you have an option to change this. Just follow the usual process, scan this code, and then from there, follow the next step of entering the code here until you verify on the third step. Now for the second step, if you are unable to log in to your OKX, say you cannot access the Authenticator app anymore, you lost it or you deleted it, we will reset that using the app. So for now, I'll log out here and then say we want to log in, so I'll click Next. And I'll enter my password, click Log In. Here, there's an option if you are unable to verify your account. I'll click Reset and it will confirm that it can only reset the Authenticator using the app. Using my mobile phone, I'll open OKX and then sign up or log in. I'll tap next and then just provide the password and click log in. I'll just pass this captcha. I'll switch the verification method from here. Say that I am unable to log in. I'll do the SMS or maybe email. It's up to you. Here's the text I received from OKX. And just enter it here with login. Now I have an option to enable the passkey, but I won't do that for now. I'm able to log in here. I'll tap the menu. And then here in my profile, I'll tap the arrow button. Go to security, security center. Here's the authenticator app. I can go ahead and change this. I'll tap this change authenticator app. And then I can proceed entering this code in my Google Authenticator code and proceed to the next step. From here, I can enter the new code that I have in my Google Authenticator app. And then from here, I can submit and that will change or reset the 2FA or Google Authenticator code here in OKX. Also, for other security methods like for phone, email, you can update that as well here. Same from email. And aside from that, you can set up the others like the anti vision code and others here. And that's it. If this video helped you, please let us know by clicking the like button. And for other tutorial videos, you may check these videos as well. And see you on the next videos. Bye-bye.